Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with what to expect at the new Google event next week. So there's a lot of rumors going around about all kinds of things we might be seeing, including Android 4.2, a new Nexus 4, and a new Nexus 5 phone, as well as a new Nexus 10 tablet. It looks like the Nexus 4 is going to be based on the LG Optimus G. Now this is actually a really impressive looking handset. Not only does it have one of the new Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro processors, technical jargon aside, it's quad core, and it's probably going to be about the fastest thing you can get in any phone out there. But it's also, of course, as a Nexus this device is going to be running pure stock Android. Take a closer look at the Nexus 4 and you'll see it has more than a passing resemblance to the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Now of course this is going to be made by LG and some of the design things I've got to admit aren't really that exciting to me. So for starters if you look at it it's a very boring phone. I don't mean that in the bad way but in the it's not particularly exciting way. As far as specs go, it's going to have a 4.7 inch IPS display with a resolution of 1280 by 720. Now on paper that looks very similar to the Galaxy Nexus, however this is not going to be pentile, which tech jargon aside it's going to be better. Just, just roll with it. It's also going to be made by LG of course who makes some of the best looking displays, period. On top of that, it's also going to have 2GB of RAM, and it's only going to have 8GB of internal storage. Now that might sound like a little bit of a weird thing, especially considering that there's no micro SD card slot, but the important thing to know is that this is going to be a budget device. Right now, the rumors are suggesting that this will mostly be sold directly through Google. So this isn't a huge surprise, so for example, if you go to play.google.com right now, you can buy from Google the Nexus 7 as well as the Galaxy Nexus. However, the interesting thing here is that it actually may be the only way to get it in some places. So instead of going and buying it from a carrier or from Best Buy or wherever else, you'll buy it directly from Google without any kind of contract and get the phone for probably somewhere around $400. Now before you guys all freak out, $400, that's way too much, keep in mind that this is with no contract. So for example, if you wanted to buy something like the iPhone 5 without a contract, it's going to run you something like $650. Where it gets more interesting is that we may see more than one Nexus device this year. So several rumors have pegged that Google is actually going to start doing more than just one tablet and one phone. They of course have different sizes, different prices, and all that kind of stuff. And what we may see is an HTC Nexus 5. The other day, HTC announced the J Butterfly. Now this is a Japanese model phone, however the specs are just ridiculous. So for starters, it's got all the kind of normal things like a Snapdragon an S4 processor, 2 gigabytes of RAM, jelly bean, all the kind of super high-end stuff that you would expect. However, where it really, really is impressive is in the screen. It has a 5-inch display with a resolution, wait for it, 1920 by 1080. So yes, this actually has the same resolution as your 70-inch plasma TV on a 5-inch phone. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Now we don't know for sure that HTC is going to be making a Nexus version of the Butterfly. However, the specs do line up with what we've heard about a supposed Nexus 5. And considering that the Butterfly is a real phone that they've already designed, they've got a lot of the work done, if they did want to make a Nexus version of it, it would be all that difficult. Maybe change the hardware a little bit, a few tweaks here and there, throw a version of Android 4.2 on there, and they're good to go. And if that wasn't enough Android awesomeness for you, here's another one. It looks very plausible that there could be a brand new Samsung Nexus 10 tablet coming. Now this one is a little bit sketchy. We don't have a lot of information on it and we don't even know if it's going to be shipping next week or next month or even next year. The idea here is that this would be a 10 inch tablet manufactured by Samsung which was slot above the Nexus 7 in the range to go after the iPad. The giveaway that this is going to be an iPad killer is in the screen. The rumored resolution is going to be 2560 by 1600. Now that is pretty much as high resolution as it gets. Not only is that way better than the iPad's retina display, but it even matches some of the best 27 and 30 inch computer monitors on the market. Combine all of this with a new Android 4.2 update, and come Monday there are going to be a lot of really excited Android fans. So I'm curious to know guys, what do you think about all of these new updates? Personally, I think the Nexus 4 looks pretty good, but man, that Nexus 5 has got my name written all over it. Don't forget to hit up that like button if you enjoyed, and if you're interested in the full recap of whatever Google announces next Monday, be sure to subscribe to the channel, as I will be doing a full recap as soon as the event is over. Anyway guys, I will catch you in the next one.